Hi everybody, it's Tina Plackinger. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, well, it's time. I, I don't go grocery shopping often, but when I do, I like to buy big slabs of salmon or trout, preferably salmon. And they did have them this week, and so I thought that I would just uh, uh, invite you into my life while I do this. I got this piece here for $19. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is cut it. Okay, I'm going to cut it first. And, you know, I've rinsed them before. And I think I get the best results by not rinsing them until after I thaw them. Okay. I can get six pieces out of this. Pretty nice sized pieces. Okay, let's see. Get a large piece. I'll just be normal here. Okay. The scissors work so much better than the cleaver. Oh, I think I might just, well, that is pretty. Yeah, the scissor is so much better. All right. Yeah, so this was 20 bucks. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. What is that? Not quite $4 each. That's pretty good for salmon. Okay. Hi, vanilla. Little Vanilla, she's the one that is always hoping for crumbs somewhere. Okay. Yeah, I've actually, I, I picked this up the other day, like two days ago. And I knew that I had to get it in the freezer today. Just sort of waiting on it because I wanted to share it with you. I bought two of these. And then, when they're frozen and I take it out, you know, I can take off the saran and put it in a bowl of cold water, stick it back in the refrigerator, it'll thaw real nicely, and then, uh, you know, rinse it. I can rinse it. But when I wash them before I freeze them, I, they kind of get mushy. I don't know why, but they get mushy. Okay. Okay. See the skin here, very, very hard to cut with a knife. Really hard to cut with a knife. So much easier with a scissor. And if you don't have a scissor, Honestly, go to Dollar Tree and get a Betty Crocker. They're about a dollar. It's a white scissor. I think they also come in red because, you know, Betty Crocker was always red and white. And uh, the Betty Crocker scissor is very, very good. It's a nice scissor to just keep for your utensil drawer in the kitchen. Okay, so that's that. Let me just get this out of the way. Okay. You don't have to do the foil. I am. I like to have my food ready. You know, it's a job. All of it is, it's a job. Taking care of yourself and... I guess salmon is the best fish that you can pick for the omega-3 supplement.
idea. You don't have to do the foil, but... And, and you know what? I've got some in the freezer where I, I didn't put foil on it. I don't know. I just kind of felt like using the foil. <laughs> so, and then I got my freezer bag. Okay. And I always want to mark the date on them. Let's see if I can find a marker here. Okay, salmon. And I think it's uh, August. I think it's the 15th. That always helps. So you know what's in it, especially if you wrap it up in foil. You can't really see what's in there, you know. Maybe I can get them all in there. That would be nice. I suppose I could keep one out. Well, maybe I can get them all in. How cool is that? And I don't have to worry about them, you know, uh, sticking together and being frozen. So there you go. And uh, let's see, this was $19 and I have six meals. Nice meals. No, I mean, you could have that with rice. You could have that with just about anything. Lately, I've been uh, making up a uh, cucumber and sweet onion salad with tomato. And uh, I like my garlic salt and my olive oil. And usually I like red wine vinegar. I was raised very Italian on red wine vinegar. Uh, good stuff, you know. But I've been using the... Uh, Paul Bragg apple cider vinegar, and uh, it's different, but I am getting used to it. So anyways, thank you for joining me. It's really important that we, you know, prepare our food so that we have things when we don't feel like cooking, you know, uh, just, just something easy. It's the way I live, and I thought, well, you know, maybe some people need a few uh, Tina No Nonsense Tips today. And so, there you go. I will see you soon. Take care.